Yes. yes. All right. I think we're live now. How was your weekend? Uh, it was uh, bad, I think. It was bad. Why? <laughs> uh, I was working. Uh, oh, okay. All okay. Weekend, yes. All uh, weekend working. And uh, how was your weekend? Good. Good. It was just kind of low key, just um, catching up on things, lesson plans, stuff like that. So, oh. not not a big, not super exciting <laughs> this weekend, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Good, good. All right, and we also have Victor. Hi, Victor. Victor's Hello, camera's on. How are you <laughs> yeah. today? I'm okay. Thank you. How was your weekend? It was all right. A couple of classes, uh, a couple of <laughs> walking around with my daughters. Okay, okay, good, good. Nice. Some classes, some family time. It's always good. Yeah. All right, good. We also have Vincenzo. Hi, Vincenzo. Hey, teacher. How are you? I'm You're good. Fine. How are you? I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank you. Good. How was your weekend? Yes. Mm, not being exceptional, but yes. It's about good. Is your daughter still here? Uh, what did you say? Is your daughter still here? City? Yes, yes. Uh, she's, in all, um, she's in a state. She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> this time she's sleeping. Okay. She's sleeping, okay. Yes. So um, yes, perhaps we can. We should wait for the my my how do you say my calls. I don't know how do you call a, a women that work with you uh, in, in a oh. house. Call. Oh, you're a cleaning lady. Uh, clean. Cleaning lady. Ah, cleaning lady. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> At nine o'clock, as you know, here is all these. Yes. Okay. So at nine o'clock, <laughs> we might hear some activity <laughs> around where Vincenzo is. You can yeah. hear from my, bo <laughs> my, my dog. My dog. dog. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have okay. two. We'll have two signals for when the lesson's <laughs> over. My, I'll probably have a, a sound problem with my robot voice, and then Vincenzo's dog will bark, and then we know it's time to stop class. <laughs> you have a signal now. You know that. I have two. I'll have two signals today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, yeah. So you call those that kind of person is a cleaning lady. Cleaning Sometimes lady, we yes. say maid also, but cleaning lady is what I hear more often from where I'm from oh, okay. in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, you could say maid also. Okay. Yeah, cleaning lady is usually what we say. Okay, good, good. We also have Lesek in the class. Hi, Lesek. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Morning. How are you today? Yeah, excellent. I just uh, right now uh, woke up and prepare some breakfast. <laughs> ah, okay. What's for breakfast today? Ah, today a special turkey cheese, uh, uh, tomato, some vegetables and uh, bread. Ah, sounds very healthy. Yeah, I try. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, Dutch people eat cheese for breakfast a lot too. They have cheese and bread. That's a common Dutch breakfast. But I'm not sure if they eat um, vegetables so much. But that's a good idea. Yeah, in Turkey it's very, very common, a lot of mm. uh, vegetables. Okay. Ali, okay. Ali can confirm everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of vegetables. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. Ali. Good morning. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Uh, let's also say hi to Kata. Hi, Kata. Hi. Uh, I wake up too, and I I'm making my porridge. <laughs> porridge, okay, okay, that's a good breakfast too. I I always I think it's because I grew up in a very hot place. I grew up in Texas, southern part of the United States. I never really grew up eating porridge, so it's always it's strange to me to eat something hot for breakfast. I always eat cold things, but that sounds good. If it's in the winter time, it's it's a really good breakfast. That's yeah. cold outside. Yeah, I usually eat um, smoothies. I like to to make take fruit and milk and put them in a blender and mix them all together, and that's it's easy to eat and it's fast. So that's what I usually do, even in the winter. That's my breakfast of choice. Lots of fruit. Um, let's say hi to Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Andrea. How are you today? I'm fine. Are you? I'm doing well. How was your weekend? That's good, I think, at home. <laughs> yeah. 
That's good, Loki. Yeah, that was that was I, my weekend too. Yes, I didn't do anything different. So. Yeah, just normal stuff. That's all right. I do that. I did that this weekend. Yeah. It was nice. <laughs> just catch up on things, plan lessons, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, and let's also say hi to Abdul Aziz. Hi, Abdul Aziz. He might be on the phone. Ah, there we go. Hi, Abdul Aziz. Hi, hi teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. You? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Teacher. Okay. Great. Great. Well, welcome to class, everyone. This is a pronunciation, reading and pronunciation class. I think all of you good. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, this class we will read poems. You guys will listen to me read. I'm from the United States. I have a U.S. accent. Um, you each will get to read part of the poem and I will help you individually. I will also help you with vocabulary in the poems. I have some short poems today. Um, oh, also if you're watching on YouTube or Google Plus and you are thinking you want to join these classes, the way to join is to go to verbling.com the title of the video has Verbling in it. Just go to Verbling.com and you can join those classes. You can make a membership. That is how you join. Uh, let me get you guys a link. I see, I think all of you, <laughs> at, least, or at least part of you, are in the document already. But yeah. here's, yeah, here's the link in the chat box, just in case. And let's get my screen going. We'll start on page 14 today. Yeah. So these poems are all from a book that I have. So... I'm typing out them I'm typing out poems as we go. So in see page fourteen. Okay, so this one's called My Pig. And uh, Pig has a problem, and we'll learn about what he does to the pig to make the pig <laughs> not so cranky. <laughs> so we have an angry pig in this poem. So, um, Ali, we'll start. We'll just go down the line. So this first section, it sounds like this. My pig seemed somewhat crotchety and generally miffed, so I thought a new appearance might provide her with a lift. I bought her fine cosmetics and assorted beauty aids, which I applied strategically along with beads and braids. My pig seemed somewhat cor cro crockety, right? Crotchety. Crotchety and generally miffed. So I thought a new appearance might provide her with a lift. I bought her fine cosmetics and assorted beauty aids, which I applied strategically along with beads and braids. Okay, good. So the pig is crotchety. Crotchety is a word for angry or grumpy, easily annoyed. Maybe um, if you think of a very crotchety person at work, they're, they're just not very nice and they always seem to be in a bad mood. So this pig seemed to crotchety. If you are miffed, that's another word for being angry. So crotchety and miffed are very similar words. So why is this pig crotchety? Why is it angry? What can we do to fix this pig and to put it in a better mood? Um, so let's say let's say this word here, crotchety, one more time, Ali. Crotchety. Uh huh. And say miffed. Miffed. Uh huh. And notice miffed ends in a t sound because this f here is not a voiced sound. You don't use your voice to make f happen. So it's miffed because t also is not voice. Okay. Miffed and crotchety. Miffed. Uh, mm -hmm, miffed. Good. Uh, let's get um, the vowel sound in pig. Make it less pig and more pig. Pig. Yep. And now seemed is definitely the E sound. Seemed. Seemed. Uh-huh. Say pig seemed. Pig seemed. Mm -hmm. Now this word here um, in the poem, to make the, the rhythm work in the poem, we pronounce this generally, but 
many native speakers pronounce this as generally. Generally. Yeah, so pretend like there's no, this E in the middle, pretend like it's not there. Generally. Generally. Yeah, yeah, so this is, native speakers will, will generally <laughs> say it like <laughs> generally instead of generally. For the poem, it should be generally to make the rhythm work, but in most speaking cases, you'll say generally. Let's say this line, and generally miffed. And generally miffed. Mm -hmm. Let's say provide. Provide. Yeah, now your V is more like the, the W sound um, in that word. Okay. So with the V sound, I want you, so with with the W sound, the sound that you are making is more like provide, but we want provide, so your teeth are more on your lower lip. Provide. Provide. Yeah, yeah, good. One more time. Okay. Provide. Provide. Oh, that's still in the W. Get your teeth <laughs> teeth on your lip. Okay. Provide. Uh, provide. Yeah, that's getting closer. If you Also, another way to practice is to try to say it with an F sound. Provide and then change it to V. Provide. Provide. The F, F and V both have it. Yeah, that's getting closer. One more time. Provide. Provide. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. So yeah, for you, uh, I've noticed when you talk about verbling, sometimes you say verbling. So with the V sound, get your teeth teeth on your lip, and it's voiced. V You'll feel your voice, yeah. your vocal cords okay. doing. Yeah. Ver verbling. Yeah, verbling. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's much better. So when you see things with a V, try to really get a good V sound every time you read them or every time you say them. Okay. Provide. Mm -hmm. um, T turns into a D in assorted. Assorted. Uh huh. And also with beauty. Beauty. Say assorted beauty. Assorted beauty. Mm hmm. Strategically. Strategically. Yeah, now this is a, an actual T sound, strategically. And this person buys cosmetic. Uh, another word for cosmetics is makeup, lipstick, eye makeup for women, they wear it. Uh, different aids, things that help you with beauty. Um, she applied it strategically. That just means I put the makeup on the pig, I put lipstick on the pig, and eye makeup, and mascara, and all those, all those makeup products that women like to wear. Also put beads on the woman on the on the pig. So these the like different kinds of jewelry beads, and then also braids, which is a hairstyle, maybe like this braids. You, yeah. So puts on puts makeup on the pig. Also with jewelry beads and braids to make the pig less crotchety, less angry, <laughs> less miffed, less uh, less irritable. Maybe uh, a pig that is nicer to you. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Ali. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have a couple new people. We have Nisa. Welcome back. Hi, Nisa. Hello. Thank you. And we also have Khaled. Hi, Khaled. Hi, Andrea. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. And the next section will be for Kata. Okay. I powdered and perfumed her, which I hadn't done in years. Oops. Guys, if you can all mute your microphones when you're not speaking, that is best, so we don't have extra noise. Okay, I'll start again. I powdered and perfumed her, which I hadn't done in years, festooned her tail with ribbons, fastened bangles to her ears, I made her up with lipstick, rouge, mascara, and a wig, the change is inexpressible. She's now a perfect pig. <clears throat> I pulled and perfumed her, which I hadn't done in years. Fastened her tail with ribbons, fastened up bangles to her ears. I made her up with lipstick, rouge, mascara, and a wig. The change is inexpressible. She's now a perfect big. Mm -hmm. Good. So 
the person puts on makeup, puts makeup on the pig, and also other decorations, things to make the pig look better, and now the pig is perfect. <laughs> the pig is no longer crotchety and irritable. Uh, a few vowel sounds for you, Kata, in the second word, first syllable, pow, powdered. Powdered. Uh-huh. And more, a little bit more stress on the first syllable, powdered. Uh-huh. Good, good. Perfumed. Perfumed. So, it looks like perfumed, but it will sound like the letter U, the, the word U, Y-O-U, perfumed in the middle. Perfumed. Yeah, yeah, good. Say, I powdered and perfumed her. I powdered and Mm -hmm. Very good. So powdered, pow is strong, perfumed, second syllable is strong, in the middle of it we have a U sound, perfumed. Um, let's say this word, festooned. Festooned. Mm -hmm. So perfumed, festooned. Stu this U sound here does not have any kind of ye in it, just festooned. And this word means um, to put something on. So this is, she festooned the pig's tail with ribbons. She took ribbons with the pig's tail. She put ribbons on the pig. Like that. So she put these rhythm, ribbons on the pig's tail, and then the pig's tail was festooned with ribbons. Um, let's also say, um, made. Made. Mm -hmm. um, made. Oh, open your mouth a little bit more for the, the vowel sound. Made. Made. Yeah, that's better. Um, say, I made her up. I made her up. Mm -hmm. Say, up. Up. Uh huh. Um, with up, uh, um, have your tongue go a little bit higher instead of up. Say up. Up. Yes. Yes. Good. And back to I made her up. I made her up. Uh huh. Good. Rouge. Rouge. Mm hmm. Wig. Wig. So with this one, wig, um, you're saying more wig. Get it more, have your, um, make your mouth a little smaller and say wig. Wig. Uh huh, that's getting closer. Yeah, so for for um, a lot of languages, when you see an I, you want to make it more like an an E sound where your your mouth is very wide E, but we want it to be more I. Try that, wig again. Wig. Yeah, that's better. Uh huh. Good. Um, and let's also say inexpressible. Inexpressible. Uh huh. Good. So inexpressible. The change is inexpressible. That means I can't really tell you. I can't express what exactly <clears throat> what exactly is different. I can't really tell you what the change is. But now the result. She's perfect pig with all the makeup and jewelry <laughs> and ribbons. Let's say this line, the change is inexpressible. The change is inexpressible. Mm -hmm. And one more time with pig. Pig. Mm -hmm. Say, a perfect pig. A perfect pig. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So for you, Kato, just be careful with words like wig, pig. Um, also, lipstick is another one where we have the i sound. Um, careful that it doesn't turn into an E sound. Lipstick, wig, pig. Okay, good. Thanks, Kata. Thank you. Khaled is next, and <laughs> the title is not I Sleep a Week. I Cannot Sleep a Wink Tonight. <laughs> and this expression, you can't sleep a wink, means you cannot sleep at all. Like your eyes do not close at all to sleep. So I'll read the first section, and then you'll read after me. I cannot sweet. Sorry, I'll do it again. 
I cannot sleep a wink tonight, and I think that I know why. My elephants are bellowing in chorus to the sky. My mice are misbehaving, and my lions roar and roar. My grizzly bears are wrestling, rolling all around the floor. I cannot sleep a wink tonight, and think that I know why my elephants are blowing in co in cross to the sky. My mice are misbehaving, misbehaving, and my lions roar and roar. My grizzly bears are wrestling, rolling all around the floor. Okay. So in the second word here, cannot. The first syllable will be strong. Can is going to be the strongest part. And then this last T is very, very, very soft. Cannot. Cannot. Mm -hmm. And even less T. So it's not a T. The, your, tongue, <clears throat> your tongue will be farther back in your mouth. Cannot. Cannot. Mm -hmm. Say, I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. Mm -hmm. Good. And now make a more E sound with sleep. 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 Uh huh. Good. And one more time. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. Uh huh. Elephants. Elephants. Yeah. So it looks like elephants with this a here, mm -hmm. but it's elephants. Elephants. Uh huh. It's better. Bellowing. Bellowing. Yeah. Yelling. Making a lot of noise. Sometimes we talk about people bellowing, and, and that just means you are shouting, you are, you are very, very loud. So the elephants are making a lot of noise. It's hard to sleep that way. Um, they're in mm. chorus. A chorus is a group of people that are singing, so the elephants are making very loud sounds, and it's like a, a chorus or a choir, a bunch of people singing. So that is mm. pronounced chorus. Try that. Chorus. 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 Uh huh. Say in chorus to the sky. In chorus to the sky. Mm -hmm. Now misbehaving. Misbehaving. Mm -hmm. My mice are misbehaving. My mice are misbehaving. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? That means that they they are getting into trouble. Um, usually, when we talk about misbehaving, it's about children. Children misbehave. Children uh, do things that are wrong. They break the rules at school. Maybe mm -hmm. they they talk too much or they get in a fight. They're misbehaving. They are not. They're not acting in a very good way. So mm -hmm. the mice. The mice are getting into trouble. <laughs> they are getting in mischief. They're they're doing something bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and let's also say. Um, okay, lions. Another another uh, loud sound. Roar. Say that one, roar. Roar. Uh huh. And my lions roar. And my lions roar. Mm hmm. Oh, careful with your R sound. So not roar, but roar. Roar. Yeah. So your tongue will be really, it will feel like your tongue is very far back in your mouth to make that the R, the R sound, roar. Roar. Yeah, that's better. Say, and my lions roar. And my lions roar. Yeah. Okay. And let's say um, bears. 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 Yeah. So you're you're saying it more bears, but we want it to be bears. Air. Eh. Bears. Bears. Yeah. Good. My grizzly bears. My grizzly bears. Mhm. Mm good. Wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, so we don't say the T here. Just mm -hmm. res wrestling. Uh huh. They're wrestling. wrestling. Uh huh. Yeah. When you wrestle with someone, it's like a kind of fight. It's also a sport, wrestling. Two two people okay. try to um to uh to they are I I don't know. I could get a picture. It's better. <laughs> wrestling. So the two bears are wrestling. It's kind of it's a kind of fight. It's also a sport. These are all wrestling here. So maybe you've seen this before. Mm -hmm. so that's what the bears are doing. So they're all over the floor, wrestling on the floor. And say for me, rolling. 
Rolling. Around. Around. Rolling all around. Rolling all around. Uh huh. Good. So the this person is having trouble sleeping because all these animals are making a lot of noise, having a lot, a lot of trouble falling asleep when there's too much noise around you. Okay. Good. Thanks, Khaled. Thank you. Lesek is next. And we'll go down to my kangaroos. My kangaroos are boxing, knocking one another down. My fatuous rhinoceros keeps acting like a clown. My rats are racing all around. My cats are giving chase, which causes a commotion as they dart from place to place. So this is for Lesek. Make sure your microphone is on. Yes, my micro microphone now is on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can start. My kangaroos yes, yes. are boxing, knocking one another down. My future rhinos <laughs> keeps acting like a clown. My rates are racing all around. My cats are giving chase, which causes a commotion as they dart from place to place. Okay, good. Okay, good. So, so uh, we have more animals making a lot of noise. And in the first, we have another sport here, boxing. Boxing. Mm -hmm. So, not not so much with boxing, but boxing. Uh, boxing. Boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my kangaroos are boxing. My kangaroos are boxing. Mm -hmm. Good. Knocking. Knocking. Yeah, knocking, boxing, same vowel sound. Knocking, boxing. Uh huh. Good. New word, new word for me. This was a new word for me when I read this poem. Fatuous. Fatuous. What does it mean? Silly. Um, kind of funny, not serious. Um, other words for fatuous. The biggest, the be the best syllable is silly. So. They're they're um they're being they're doing things that are kind of strange but it's kind of funny at the same too. At the same time. Fatuous. Yeah. Fatuous. Fatuous. Rhinoceros. A rhinoceros. Uh huh. So animal with a big horn. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah okay. A rhinoceros. <laughs> okay. Good. Um rats. Rats. Cats. Cats. Yeah, so yeah. this <laughs> ah sound, your mouth will be very open. Rats and cats. Okay, rats and cats. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Giving. 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 Mm -hmm. Much better. So, Much better. so you, the first time the you first were time more giving, so, but this will be giving. Giving. Mm -hmm. Place. Place. Uh-huh. Say place to place. Place to place. And dart. Dart. Yeah, as to go somewhere very place. quickly. Okay. Say, as they as dart they from dart place to place. As they dart from place to place. Mm -hmm. At the end the of end dart, dart, we have a T. So, so make sure the T is very soft. Dart. 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 Uh huh. As they as dart they from place to place. As they dart from place to place. Mm -hmm. Yes, you got yes, it. You got it. Good. Good. All right. Thanks, right, Lizzie. Thank you. And uh, next will be Natalie. Last section. More animals, more loud sounds. My monkeys yell. My donkeys bray. My hawks and eagles shriek. The din is, sorry, the din is indescribable and possibly unique. My pigs have started up a game of football with my sheep. With such a loud menagerie, it's hard to fall asleep. Okay. Uh, my monkeys yell, my donkey bray, my hawks and eagles string. The din is indescribable and possible unique. My pins have started up a game of football with my sheep. 
with shots with such a loud manage, manager managery um, managery is hard to fall asleep okay good a menagerie is just a group of animals like if you go to a zoo you'll see a menagerie so this person has a lot of animals they're very loud so the group of animals they just use that word menagerie menagerie okay. menagerie uh-huh okay so more things uh, the the din is also a, a word to talk about noise <laughs> and a din is like a really noisy event or a really noisy situation so all of all of that's hap all the things that are happening to this person, all the noise, they can't really describe it, but it's um, it's uh, very very strange. It's very unique. There's nothing like it. Uh, let's go with the word yell. So instead of gel, yell, yell. Uh huh. Good. And let's say hawks, hawks, and eagles, eagles. Uh huh. Two kinds of birds. They shriek. Sh sh shriek. <laughs> yeah, shriek. Shriek. Yeah, you got it. Shriek is another word for yell or shout. Usually, shriek is going to be very high pitched. So, um, if somebody shrieks, usually it's it sounds very very bad. <laughs> it's a very ugly sounding yell. So these birds are shrieking. They're making a lot of noises. Um, Another word for th that we use to make sounds is bray here, and this is usually a word that we only use for donkeys. Yeehaw, they bray. So that's the that's just a sound that we use for donkeys. But people can yell, and people can also shriek as well. So all these words are about making a lot of noise. Um, let's say indescribable. Indescribable. Uh huh. Good. Say the din is indescribable. The din is indescribable. Uh huh. So din is, and then the first part of this word in. Din is in. These all have the same vowel sound. Try that. Just din is in. Okay. The din is indescribable. Yeah, you got it. Good. So just be careful. Um, same thing, same advice I give other people a lot. This is common for a lot of languages. Just be careful you're not saying din is in, but instead din is in. Okay. Let's also say, um, oh, same thing, same vowel sound with pigs. Pigs. Yeah. My pigs have started up a game. My pigs have started started sorry I started up again. Started. So, started. Say have started. Have started started. Yeah. Uh, try to make these connect as much as possible. That will help you get. That will help you get your s. <laughs> that will help you get started with the word yeah, started. Yeah. Okay. Have. Yeah. It's, have it's, started. Uh huh. One more time. Have started. Have started. Yeah, you still have a tiny, tiny little bit of a vowel sound before started. Have, it's a li have, have started. Start. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's back up a little bit more. Say, my pigs have started. Okay. My pigs have started. Oh my god. <laughs> started. Yeah, you can do it. You have can do it. Started. Yeah, it's my kind of hard have if it's. Started. Yeah, started. Uh huh. It's kind of hard when you have like brand new words and and new word orders in your reading, and you really you have to think about a lot of things at the, at the same time. But uh, yeah, so when you have words that start with st, if they are um, after a word, try to link it, try to connect it with the word in front, and that will be that will be easier for you. Have started okay. instead of have, have started. started. Yeah, have started. Uh huh. Good. Um, have started. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's much better. The way you just did it was much better. Okay. Um, and then our our group of animal words, menagerie. Menagerie. Mhm. Mm with such a loud menagerie. With such a loud menagerie. Uh huh. Good. And asleep. 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 E. Asleep. Asleep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Say it's hard to fall asleep. It's hard to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Good. 
So this person has is probably not going to sleep tonight. The animals are too loud. There is a group of a large amount of animals. They're all making a lot of noise. All right, good. Thanks, Natalie. Thanks to you. And Nisa is next. You get a new poem. The afternoon my hamster died. Sometimes I do funny poems, but this one is not funny. Um, first section here. The afternoon my hamster died, I moped around and cried and cried. Although I readily admit that I was far from fond of it. It was a poor, unpleasant pet that I should probably forget. It never had a proper name. I miss it deeply all the same. Okay. The afternoon my hamster died, I moved around and cried and cried. Although I really admit that I was far from fond of it. It was a poor, unpleasant pet that I should probably forget. It never had a proper name. I miss it deeply, all the same. Okay. Uh, just one second. Okay. okay. So this person's hamster dies. Um, I like the way you pronounced the first word here. Just everybody notice that there are two ways we, we pronounce this. We have the, and we also have the. Mm -hmm. uh, Nisa said the afternoon, which is good because afternoon starts with a vowel sound. So be before vowel sounds, <laughs> yeah. <say> the. <laughs> it sounds like you have a pet as well. <laughs> <laughs> Can you can you say that for us just so we can hear you say the afternoon? The afternoon? Mm -hmm. Now, I like your vowel sound here. Can you give me more with the TH? The afternoon. The afternoon. Yeah, let's try it actually with um, with this other word, although. Although? Uh-huh, one more time. Although. Although. Yeah, good. And the? The? Although? Although? That? 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so with that, with that, um, make sure that your tongue is going, to, your tongue touches the back of your front teeth. That, although, oh. the, or the. So instead of that, we have that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that. You, yeah, you can do it. You just have to do it every time. That's the challenge. <laughs> do it okay. every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another word for you: moped. Mope. Moped. What is mope? <laughs> to mope is um, when you're very sad. Something bad happens to mm -hmm. you and you don't do very much, you're at home all the time, you um, you don't feel like doing anything, you just want to sit on your couch all day and you're moping. So moping is like you're feeling bad and you're not doing anything. So we... Oh, if so, maybe lazy. Kind of, yeah, yeah. But it, uh -huh. it really has to do with feeling sad. You mope mm, around. Okay. Yeah, you're you're just sitting in your house and you're just feeling sad and you feel sorry for yourself and you're moping. And here past tense moped. And with since this is past tense, okay. we have a p make the end like a t sound. Moped. Moped. Mhm. Mm Good. And let's say also um miss. Miss. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah, so it, you have the good vowel sound. Uh, when you have miss by itself, you have a very good i vowel sound. Mm -hmm. But in, this, in the group of words, make sure you, you get it every time. I miss it. I miss it. Yeah, your miss is still a little bit more miss. Um, but it is good. So just say, let's say uh, without the word I, just miss it. Miss it. Uh huh. That's getting closer. And let's say deeply. Mm. Deeply. 
Uh huh. Deeply. So this one's a really strong E sound. Deeply. Deeply. Mm hmm. Say, I miss it deeply. I miss it deeply. Mm hmm. And you can do less T on this, on it. I miss it deeply. I miss it deeply. Mm hmm. Good. Yeah. So ends of, if you have a T at the end of the word, it's um, not going to be a t sound or a d sound. It will be more in the back. I miss it deeply. I miss it deeply. Mm -hmm. I miss it deeply. Huh? Good. So this person Thank cries you. and cries. They're moping. They feel very bad because their pet hamster died. So very sad. They was not very fond of it. This was a, not a very good pet, kind of unpleasant, uh, very not, not so nice to be around. But after some, as this happens with people, after someone dies, maybe you don't like the person, but when they die, you feel very sad. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have a real name. It didn't have a proper name. They didn't have this hamster had no name, but this person still <laughs> no misses <name>. it. <laughs> no name, a nameless <laughs> hamster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, Victor will go next. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's put this all on one page. Okay. My hamster had annoying ways, a tendency to sleep for days, a knack for making noise all night, a need to gnaw and urge to bite. In fact, it bit me more than twice. It simply wasn't very nice. Despite these faults, I cried and cried. The afternoon, my hamster died. My hamster had annoying ways, a tendency to sleep for days, a knack for making noise all night, a need to gnaw and urge to bite. In fact, it bit me more than twice. It simply wasn't very nice. Despite these faults, I cried and cried. The afternoon, my hamster died. Okay. So the hamster's not a very good pet. It bites. It chews on things. It's always making holes and gnawing um, on everything. Makes a lot of noise. But even though the hamster is not, not a good pet, this person is still sad. Um, with the word hamster, make a softer H. Hamster. Hamster. Mm -hmm. And had. 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 Uh-huh, good. Say, my hamster had. My hamster had. Yeah, better, better. So, less less throat action with the H sound. It's just mm -hmm. let the air go through. Hamster had. Mm -hmm. um, let's also say, knack. Knack. Knack, uh-huh. When you have a knack for something, you're good at something. So this, the hamster has a knack for making noise. That means the hamster is very good at making noise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a knack for it. Let's say a knack for making noise. A knack for making noise. Mm -hmm. And then underneath we have, so knack, the K is silent. In this word here, the G is silent. Gnaw. No. Gnaw. Gnaw. No. Mm -hmm. Say, a need to gnaw. A need to gnaw. Uh-huh. And urge. Urge. Yeah. If you have an urge to do something, you feel like you need to do it. And mice, rats, um, hamsters, these kinds of animals, they have very long teeth. Their teeth grow all the time, so they need to chew on something. They need to bite something. So they, they feel like they have to, so their teeth don't get too long. So that this really is a real need to bite. Let's say an urge to bite. An urge to bite. Uh huh. Good. And let's say um, wasn't. Wasn't. It simply wasn't very nice. It simply wasn't very nice. Mm -hmm. Very. Very. Yes. Very. Yeah. So teeth. Put your top teeth on your lip. Very. Very. Yeah, yeah, good. Wasn't very nice. Wasn't very nice. Mm -hmm. And let's say cried. Cried. And died. Died. Mm -hmm. The afternoon, my hamster died. 
the afternoon my hamster died. Mm -hmm. Good. So, this not a good hamster, but we're still sad when it dies. When pets die, it can be very sad. Okay, good. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, Sandra. All right. Uh, Vincenzo is here. Vincenzo gets to start our next poem. Yes. Yeah. I'm knitting a napkin of noodles. This is knitting. This is a kind of a silly poem. So when you knit, you take yarn and you you put uh, you you make it uh, come together to make a cloth. This person is knitting, but they instead of yarn, this is yarn. Instead of yarn, they are using noodles, spaghetti. <laughs> so they're taking noodles and they're knitting. <laughs> Maybe it will look like this kind of like ramen noodles. Okay, so Vincenzo, you get this section here. I'm knitting a napkin of noodles because I don't have any yarn. I'm keeping my cow in the kitchen. There's too little room in the barn. I'm fishing with half an umbrella. I don't have a suitable hook. I'm reading the labels on light bulbs for somebody borrowed my book. I'm I'm knitting a napkin of noodles because I don't have any yarn. I'm keeping my cow in the kitchen. There is too little room in the barn. I'm fishing with half an umbrella. I don't have a suitable hook. I'm reading the labels on light bulbs for somebody borrowed my book. Hmm. Okay, good. This is silly a silly kind of poem about someone who is um, doing silly things with objects that normally they don't use for things like that, like noodles. You don't knit with noodles. Usually, don't have a cow in the kitchen, but there's all these. You know, he doesn't have yarn, so he has to use noodles. Their barn is too small, so the cow has to go in the kitchen. He doesn't have a good hook for fishing, so he has to use an umbrella, and he has no books, so he has to read the light bulb. So it's very silly. Um, in this this for, second word here is knitting. Knitting. Uh huh. And it's very similar to the word little, the way it sounds. Knitting little. Little. Uh huh. Good. And let's say keep with this i vowel sound. Kitchen. Kitchen. Mm hmm. Good. So go back to knitting. Knitting. Little. Little. And kitchen. Kitchen. Uh huh. Perfect. Yarn. Yarn. Mm -hmm. I don't have any yarn. I don't have any yarn. Yeah, yeah you can do less R on yarn. Uh, so the yeah. most important, yeah, the this the A <laughs> is important, but it doesn't have to be yarn so much. <laughs> <laughs> any yarn. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, let's say have lighter on your H. Have. Have. Uh huh. I don't have. I don't have. Mm -hmm. You can even make your H softer. Have so not ha, not oh, that's too much. <laughs> not so much with your throat. <laughs> Just um, letting air go through. I don't have. I don't have. Uh huh. Good. Good. Um. Let's also say suitable. Suitable. Uh huh. So it looks we have a this U I which is strange, but it's just an oo sound. Suitable. Suitable. Mm hmm. And this T is like a D as well, which uh, you did. You did that. I'm just pointing that out. Suitable. Suitable. Uh huh. With light bulbs, we make it sound like one word. Light bulbs. Light bulb. Light bulbs. 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 Yeah, a little bit more B at the end. Bulbs. Bulbs. Uh huh. Light bulbs. Light bulbs. Uh huh. The labels on light bulbs. The labels on light bulbs. Uh huh. And let's say borrowed. 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 Say row. Row. Borrowed. Borrowed. Uh huh. And say the first syllable bar. Bar. Borrow. Borrow. Uh huh. And past tense borrowed. Borrowed. 
Uh -huh. Somebody borrowed my book. Somebody borrowed my book. Uh huh. Book. Book. Uh huh. So yeah, not uh, this. This is a tricky vowel sound, book, because mm. it's it's different than book, and mm. it's also not book, but it's book. Book. Borrowed uh -huh. my my book. Yeah. Uh huh. Borrowed my book. Uh huh. My Good. Book. My book. Yeah. So yeah, like book, look, cook, wood. Book. Wood. Yeah. Uh huh. Wood. But if look. you can make Make it yeah. actually shorter in length. Yeah. It's a little bit yeah. easier. Look, yeah. look, look. Uh huh. Book. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> book. Look. Uh huh. Yes. Someone borrowed my book. So he has no book, so he has to read on the light bulbs. Mm -hmm. That was very, very silly. Book. Book. <laughs> book. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Thanks, Vincenzo. Thank you, teacher. And Abdul Aziz is next. Well, this is a two-part poem, so this is the last section. I'm building a boat out of bottles. I've run out of lumber and nails. I'm carrying sand in a trumpet. I'm missing my buckets and pails. I seem to be short of essentials. In fact, I am lacking a lot. But nevertheless, I'm contented and manage with what I have got. I am I am building a boat out of b bottles. I have run out of lumber and nails. I am ca carrying sand in a trumpet. Trumpet. I am missing my buckets and bills. I seem to to be short of its its needles. In fact, I am lacking a lot, but nevertheless, I am contented and man manage, manage, manage and manage with what I have. I have got. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, let's say with our contractions, we have I'm. I'm. Mm -hmm. So not I am, but we say I'm. I am. And mm -hmm. and then this is I have, but we say I've. I've. Let's try it with I've run out. I've run out. Mm -hmm. Out. Out. Mm -hmm. I've run out of lumber. I have. I've run out of lumber. Uh huh? So lumber is wood for houses, building uh. things. Lumber. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And let's also say nails. Nails. Mm -hmm. Say lumber and nails. Lumber and nails. Uh huh. Now, say like this. Lumber and nails. Number and nails. Uh huh. Good. We say and a lot instead of and. It's easier. And nails. Maybe not easier to remember, but easier to say. <laughs> Lumber and nails. Number uh, and nails. Uh huh. Good. Good. Say bottles and make your T like a D. Bottles. Bottles. Uh huh. Good. So this has uh, ba is uh, we have a vowel sound a vowel sound a voiced sound before and after bottles so the t turns into a d. Um, let's also say um, carrying carrying mm -hmm. carrying carrying yes yeah, so first syllable will be strong carrying. Carrying. Uh huh. And let's say trumpet. 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 Hmm. Okay. So this p sound is tif is uh, difficult. Let's say pails. Pails. And trumpet. 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 Uh huh. Yes, yes, that's better. So before you said trumpet, 
but we want it to be trumpet, good P sound. Go back to pails. Pails. Uh huh. And trumpet. Trumpet. Uh huh. Good, good, much better. Um, buckets. 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 Uh huh. So a bucket is um like this. This is a bucket. This is also a pail. Same thing. Bucket pail. Let's say buckets and pails. Buckets and bales. Pails. 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 Uh huh. Let's say essentials. Essentials. Uh huh. Let's say the end of it. Chills. Chills. Essentials. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so this person is short of essentials, so he does not have the things that he needs. Essentials are important things like food is an essential, water is an essential, your house is also essential, it's important. He's, he does not have important things, he's short on them. Uh, let's also say lacking. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, if you lack something or if you are lacking something, you are you don't have something. He's lacking a lot. He does not have a lot of things. Um and let's also say manage. Manage. Uh-huh. First syllable strong, manage. Manage. Mhm. Mm say and manage. And manage. Yeah, yeah. So Abdul Aziz just did not do the D on and, and that is good. And manage. Let's do this line. And manage with what I have got. And manage with what I have got. Uh huh. Good. Much better. Okay, guys. We finished all the poems. So this person is does um does not have things that he needs but he knows how to manage with them if you manage with something maybe you don't have the right things maybe you don't have enough things but you're managing you're able to um to do what you want with what you have so to manage means to make something work or also in in business english if you are a manager you might be a boss you might be um, telling people what to do, you are leading your company. But here, manage means to do to do what you need with what you have. So I I don't have I don't have uh, lumber, I don't have wood, I don't have nails, but I can make a boat out of bottles instead. Um, they don't have he does not have a bucket or a pail, so he uses a trumpet, a musical instrument to carry sand on the beach. But he doesn't have a lot of what he's what he has. He's lacking a lot of things, but he's contented. He's satisfied. He's happy with what he has, and he makes things work, even though he does not have the right things. He makes them work. Okay, guys, uh, nice job, everybody. I'm going to the start my next lesson. It is a speaking class and a reading class. We'll be reading about clutter, having too much stuff or having too many things to think about. So it should be an interesting discussion. Um, that is next in about one minute. Um, if I don't see you, have a great day, have a great week, and uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow in pronunciation class. Yeah. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, bye. See you.